Rice Dairy is a price risk management firm that is just focused on the dairy industry. We provide consulting, research, analysis, strategy, and execution services. And execution is the big piece that people know us for. It's, it's the brokering component, which is actually executing the strategy of risk management. Over-the-counter trading is one of the tools we use here at Rice Dairy to execute risk management strategies. To understand over-the-counter trading, we first need to talk about derivatives. A derivative is any security that derives its value from an underlying commodity, such as milk or cheese. Types of derivatives include futures, options, swaps, and spots. Derivatives can be traded on an exchange. Here at Rice Dairy, we clear through ADM investors services and trade on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the European Energy Exchange, and the New Zealand Exchange. On an exchange, quantities are standardized, margins must be posted, and each trade is guaranteed by the exchange. Another way to trade derivatives is over-the-counter or OTC. An OTC trade is when two parties bilaterally swap price risk. But I tell my students, uh, think of it as a completely customizable futures or options contract where you're given a, a blank sheet of paper and you can write in any terms or conditions that you want. For an over-the-counter transaction, a lot of times our client will come to us and they'll ask what a broad market would be for a specific commodity. So specifically, they could say, do you have any customers that would be looking for a January through March butter market? And then from there, we would go to a natural buyer, seller, anybody that's willing to provide a price off of the exchange. And once we receive the order, we kind of look at our network and we say, who would fit the opposite side of this profile? And as Fletch and I like to describe it, we go hunting. You know, we, we go out there just like with any order that we would get on the exchange or that we would get OTC. And if it matches the profile of the other side for that customer, we would present it to them. It's not forcing the trade, but it's actually giving them the visual that, hey, wait a second, if you have exposure, here's a bid for you. This can actually compensate versus what's on the exchange. I think our biggest advantage is, is the knowledge that we have for our customer's risk. It's something that we really kind of keep close to the, to the vest in terms of understanding truly what that risk is for that client. When trading OTC, Rice Dairy works with three counterparties, Cargill, Fifth Third Bank, and Gavilon to facilitate each OTC trade. We're currently seeing all four classes of milk trading. Uh, in addition to the normal dairy derivatives, including non-fat dry milk, whey, cheese, and butter. We're also trading OTC contracts on uh, CME cash settled pricing, as well as California pricing. And we're getting interest in other derivatives, such as WPC and things like that. Our OTC business is definitely growing. We're adding new users, as well as servicing our existing customer base. And we see big growth opportunity in the OTC option space as well. In 2010, the Dodd-Frank Act introduced several regulatory changes to the financial markets, including the OTC markets. A few of the changes that we really have are the requirements that are there that were not there before would be that each of the different participants in the market would have to have what's called an LEI or a legal entity identifier. It also extended to uh, financial intermediaries needing to be registered. Financial intermediary like we are, we're, we're registered with the NFA as a swaps IB. Someone may have to be registered as a swap dealer or a major swap participant. There's also some extra record keeping requirements for financial intermediaries like us. But the biggest change, and it's really a good change, change is that all of the transactions are required to be posted on a swap data repository or what's called an SDR on a daily basis and this really has enhanced the transparency of the OTC market that was never there before. After an OTC trade is completed, it must be posted by the counterparty to one of three swap data repositories, or SDRs. An SDR is like a data warehouse or bulletin board, where OTC trades are posted to foster transparency. Data from the SDRs has allowed Professor Peterson to study the size of the OTC market. All commodities combined, this would be the, the precious metals, and the energies and the agricultural markets are only about 1% of all OTC trading. It just shows how big interest rates and, and currencies really are. Precious metals and energy make up most of that 1% market share. Well, that leaves something less than 1% of, of the total market for all agricultural commodities. However, having said that, of all the agricultural commodities that uh, are, are traded OTC, the dairy markets are the most heavily traded relative to 
the amount of activity in the exchange traded futures and options markets. The dairy OTC markets have, have done extremely well in, in a very, very short period of time. I think it's just uh, going to go up from here. What I would say to, to those who are nervous about trading OTC markets is, you know, to to go ahead and ask questions, to put through a test transaction, to follow it along, and to make sure that, that you understand each of the different points, because it is a little different than than you know futures and options. But really, for the from the, a risk management standpoint, um, there there are such close similarities that they would find the OTC markets to be very beneficial.